It was the 25th day of the 12th month and I sat alone in a large blue room in my grandparents' house. The rest of the family were in the next room enjoying each other's company. Suddenly my grandfather entered the room and came and sat next to me. I had hardly seen him through my childhood and now here he was, sitting with me as if we were close. Then after a moment of awkward silence, he spoke. Have I ever told you my story? I don't believe you have. Would you like to hear it? Um... Perfect. It starts in 1955. I lived at Cascade Apartments, just a young man in my 20s, in Pink Hell. Next door to me on the right lived a wonderfully awful lady named Sylvia. She hated my every single move. I heard your loud music last night. So? I hate it! Okay. Anyway, down the hall on the left lived Pamela. Stanley! Stancy! Dinner's ready! She had children. <laughs> and I think she fancied me. A little bit too much, but I played it off. Down the hall next to Pamela lived Fern. I didn't know much about her. She kept to herself and I kept to myself. She was probably the best person there, even though I never spoke to her. Now, as much fun as it was living here, it wasn't till the 22nd day of June that things became interesting. Sylvia's dead. Gone, that... That's really sad. Sh should I buy f flowers or something? And then I moved in. Hardy was quick to greet me. I think he was happy to see someone that knew the first things about human interaction. Let me help you with that. Thanks. Hi, I'm Hardy. Oh, Annalie. Cascade was a lovely place that I had found out about in a letter that I found in my parents' house. And it was strange that the next door room had just opened up. But a chance at a new life was all I wanted. Yeah, well, it was fantastic having Adelie next door, but it still felt empty in a way. Over time, however, as the year grew on, the thought of Christmas came to be. And I had always been alone for Christmas. The misery set back in. But on the day he least expected happiness the most, I asked him over for dinner. Hey, Hardy. Would you like to come to my house for Christmas dinner? Yeah, sure. And we've been together ever since. It's like somebody wanted us to be together. Like somebody travelled in time or something. Cascade apartment, found on Highway 76, just off the city intersection. Look at two of today, prepared to create your story.